Hey guys, it's your girl Sydney and I'm back with another video. I know that on this channel it has been slacking lately and when I say slacking it has honestly been non-existent. Anyways, I wanted to say a few random things, a little bit of an update and this chair is really squeaky so if you hear it just ignore it and understand that it's really making me cringe too. So first of all I want to say it's currently August and now content is going to start being posted again. I have a hard time when I'm like working to show you guys what I'm actually doing or because I'm just like some days are like really boring and some days are really fun and crazy but like the kind that's like not allowed on YouTube. So I'm trying to figure out how to get past that because some things I'm like editing and while I'm editing it I'm like oh god post any of this to YouTube because there's either cussing, too much nudity, just not rated to PG, you know, and I'd like to keep the content on here PG. But I figured um, a lot of you guys liked my OnlyFans tip video and a lot of you guys have been asking me for a day in life and I know that for me personally I could totally do that. That is something that like I really want to start posting more of and I think I'm going to start doing more tip videos for different platforms and you guys are always welcome to message me on other social medias that I have and tell me like hey I want to see this video because when you guys say that you want to see something it makes me want to film it a thousand times more than me just like wanting to film it. Um, I think one of the next tip videos that I am going to be doing is for Sext Panther so if you guys don't know that platform um, that is one of the ways that my um, my peeps my sweethearts can message me straight to my phone um and it's a way that like you can it's in the word so um that platform's really amazing and i feel like as long as you're over 18 it is a really great platform to utilize so i'm most likely going to be doing a tip video on that pretty soon um for those of you that do follow me for that content and then all of you who are wondering about the college content that is going to be coming back to the channel um Classes start on like the 22nd. I think that's like my first class. So I will be doing more ASU vlogs. So that'll be coming. <laughs> my adult content tips will be coming. All of that stuff. So this is going to also have fitness kind of here and there. I've been kind of keeping my journey a little bit on the low because I'm really not doing what I'm not proud of where I'm at right now in my journey. And that's probably like why I should be documenting it but I haven't been and this isn't gonna turn into a crying video because don't worry guys there's a video that I'm too afraid to look at right now on my camera the one that I'm filming on right now on the SD card so when I edit this video I have to go through and like at least watch it and then post it but basically it's like six minutes of me just talking about how I hate my like the way that I feel about myself right now and it's me being like so raw and real again and I haven't really been as raw and real about everything that's been happening. Just because I feel like this is like such a personal time for me right now in my life. Um, and it sounds silly because a lot of you guys are probably like, well, why can't you just share it? Well, it's, it's hard when you are so vulnerable on the internet with your body. And you've always, you know, I was vulnerable on the internet about my body when I did fitness. And now I'm doing fitness and adult content. So when I do that, it's very hard to like have anything that feels personal anymore. So that's why my fitness journey kind of has been on Instagram, but it's not as transparent as I used to be. And I'm working on doing that again. I just am very disappointed in myself. And like, I know a lot of you guys probably are a little disappointed in me too. So I just, I do want to mention that in this video because I know that there's so much I want to work on and there's so many things I want to do. Um, I just have to put myself back into a routine and start filming it. Um, I've been getting back into a routine with the gym. Food's been kind of hard and I feel like for me, once I get into the gym and I'm actually doing it like five times a week, then I eat better overall. But I haven't been able to get into the gym completely five times a week. Like I probably go three times a week right now and three times a week, yeah, that's a step but I want to be doing a little bit more or at least getting outside and like going for like doing some cardio because I know cardio is what makes me want to make better food choices. Um, so for those of you that are interested in like my food videos and all that stuff, like 
my what I eat in a day is my day in the life my workout videos like all that stuff is going to be coming back I know this channel has kind of taken a turn, but that's just life. That's kind of where my life's been at and um, There is going to be like one video coming that I have to like look at it's really tough for me to like watch videos where I don't feel good about myself because you don't want to like relive how you're feeling but I also know that it's a really vital piece to my journey and it's something that I do need to share because if I'm not sharing it then no one really knows you're just gonna think that it's all hunky-dory and fine and perfect and honestly like it's not been good recently I know for a fact that I'm closer to my heavier weight right now and that's just a really big disappointment to myself because it's been like five, I think five years since I started my journey, maybe a little more, I don't know, I started in 2014. So yeah, it's been five years basically and like the third year I was like doing my best and then now I feel like I'm just backtracking to like year six is gonna be just me at my heaviest again if I don't change it and yeah this update video went kind of where I wanted it to go and it went a lot easier explaining this to you guys but um more stuff is gonna come I just have to feel ready to open up because the internet is such a harsh world and recently I have had to take a step back because I have been letting a lot of like terrible things that I've seen on the internet come and like Kind of like eat me away inside and and the thing is it's people behind a computer screen saying oh fits it no fats it like little stuff like that and i hear it every day so it's starting not to bother me as much but that is something that like i was letting get to me and i think i was like kind of feeding into it myself because i would just sit there and let that be the truth um in my own head i would think oh yeah you're right i'm fat so i'm just gonna stay feeling this way about myself so I've been trying to kind of stay away from like Googling, internet, uh, social media sometimes. Like some days I literally will log on, post, and log off and not even read comments because I just can't handle it some days. And I don't go on my phone right when I wake up just because I know that if I do that it's going to ruin my day a lot of the times. And there's a lot of really nice comments but my eyes always go towards the one bad comment in the, the one thread of the page, if that makes sense. So like I always am able to like find that comment just from where my eyes go and not even like looking for one, you know? And I don't really like go through and delete them because I just, I don't want to like even go and find them if that makes sense. So it's like really, you know, sometimes I just want to turn my comments off, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm like strong that day and other days I'm not. But um, yeah, so I, I wanted to like post more of that stuff but i also do want to know what you guys want to see there are some old videos that i made when i had a weight loss um e-course and there's some videos for that and i figured hey i would love to reshare those with you guys so i'm thinking if anyone wants to see them you guys can go to my uh fit.sydney instagram account and then like on the highlights i have the swipe up links to those videos because they are um like older so even though I'm making them public technically, like you guys aren't going to be able to find them unless you scroll through like my 300 videos on here. Um, so if you guys are interested in at least watching those videos and just seeing what I posted originally, um, you guys can definitely go and see those. But I'm going to be making more content. I'm definitely going to be kind of what happens when you gain weight. Like I guess this part in my journey is what happens when you gain weight and have to lose weight again after losing it and you know all the health things that I have because I don't know if you guys know this but I'm, I'm t saying it in this video but we're gonna like get more in depth with stuff so like if you guys don't know I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism for nine years and then they also said that I had Hashimoto's which is the autoimmune disorder version it kind of goes together there's different versions and so I have pretty sure I've always had Hashimoto's but I went to a new doctor and they were like yeah like I don't know how your doctor didn't feel the notches in your thyroid and so for those of you because I know there's a lot of you out there who struggle with those issues and um like health conditions and stuff and it really does affect weight loss don't let it be an excuse you know the biggest thing that I can say is I've been letting myself be a victim this past year and I haven't been dealing with losing weight and I've been just blaming it on my thyroid and yeah it makes it harder but the Sydney that I know from high school, 
who was sick and tired of being sick and tired changed it and just and actually did a change and didn't let that be her life and that's what i'm working on doing again because i know for a fact that no matter what your condition is you can get through it you can lose weight you can be your best self and even if maybe you're not a size six and you end up being a size 10 guess what that's an accomplishment so the biggest thing for me is my goal is to start documenting it again and if you guys are interested in watching um please stay subscribed i'm going to be talking about three different topics on this channel just because my life is you know all three of those things i am a college student i am a weight loss person and I've been doing that for a very long time because you know you can't just one day give up on yourself like I basically did like I maybe didn't give up all the way but let's be honest I let myself go to a place where I didn't want to get back to and then the third thing is obviously I make adult content and that's something that a lot of you guys are interested in watching me talk about rather than do and you guys get to see my journey and my experience with that so if you guys are interested um, you guys can totally keep watching and I'm very excited to do this stuff But um, I just wanted to be very like open and kind of like explain all of this random stuff, but Yeah, so this was a very um, basic update and After this I'm gonna sit down and edit this and then I'm going to sit down and watch the other footage and probably cry about how low that day was and then edit that as well like not really edit it but I have to like make sure that it's like appropriate for this platform um but yeah so anyways I hope that you guys are enjoying the content on my channel I definitely am going to be doing a lot of other videos I'm hoping that eventually within like the next one to two months I can start posting twice a week um but it just depends. We'll see. Because I know that I need time for myself at certain points. And if I'm doing this, 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 and this, sometimes YouTube hits a back burner. But if you guys are interested in following me on any of my platforms to keep up with my daily life, you guys can totally do that. I always have them in the description box. And I hope that you guys have an amazing day. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, babes.